wanted to show you guys another garden trick that I've done over the years. Now normally um, I'd like to mulch my garden to keep the weeds from coming up. In the past I've used shredded newspapers and I put them down and spray them with a hose and it makes a nice mat. But it's a little unsightly and it's a lot of work. But what I've discovered recently, there's an easier way to do that using newspapers. Now I like to use newspapers because, you know, they're free. I, mean, I get them and instead of throwing them away I just put them in a bag over the winter. So what I like to do with the newspapers is put them into a wheelbarrow full of water to let them get good and wet. You can't put them on dry like this, but the wind comes up and you see how they're blowing around already. So I wouldn't recommend doing it that way unless you do it on a perfectly still day. You put them on dry, spray them with a hose and you're done. But if you put them in water first, either in a wheelbarrow or maybe even a bucket, you don't have to worry about them blowing around. So you can just pick the newspaper up like this and just slap it on the ground. Just like that. It'll go down really quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to make sure you get everything covered. Maybe 5 to 15 layers of newspaper. Just like that. What I'll do is take a straight edge, like this, and I'll actually put that around the plant. Take a straight edge like that and put it right up against the plant. Those are tomatoes. Get another one. And you do that four ways, that way no weeds can come up around the stalk at all. So that works perfect for those. That's about it really. I like to put some mulch on afterwards just so it doesn't look so bad. And this mulch here is just some stuff I got from my neighbor's house. They have some trees ground up. Some municipalities actually give the stuff away for free. It's not real mulch because it hasn't been aged for a couple of years. It's just more like wood chips. So I put that down like I did on the pepper plants right there, so it makes it look good. Next spring when I come out, I can just take the rototill or I'll just rototill everything under, the mulch, the newspapers, everything, and it'll look fine. The newspapers attract worms too, which is neat. If you pull the newspapers up, after about a week or two, it'll be full of night crawlers and stuff. They really like it, and I figure if they like it, it must be good for the soil. So that's it. That's my tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of helpers with me today. That's Ratty. You've seen him. He's blind, or mostly blind. A couple little dogs. That's a little howling dog right there. You can see he's slowly getting better. The pit bull there is named Maho. She was shot a couple times, so we adopted her. And you've also seen Poot in other videos. Poot, what you doing, Poot? There's Nummy down there. He's coming across the yard. He's a three-legged cat. Look how good they run, though. Just three legs. He likes to help out in the garden, too. He's up here all the time. How you doing, Nummy? Let's go see Nummy. I call her Nummy because when she had four legs, the one, she didn't have any feeling in it, so she would just drag it everywhere. So unfortunately we had to cut it off because it was always ulcerated. And she actually gets along a lot better now with just three legs. She's my little kitty.